was born in District 6. And at the time of my birth, we lived, still lived in a very mixed community because most of the whites, primarily of Jewish origin, who lived in District 6, because of economic opportunity, moved out. So ultimately, they were those who were classified colored Asiatic and those who were classified black who, re who remained in District 6 until forced removals. But by that time, I was already in jail. I was imprisoned in 1964, April, until 1971. And I have used art. When I do art, I relax. It brings me comfort, it brings me joy. And I've been doing making art for, for over 40 years. And every time that I sit down to do anything, I give my total focus because I still, at this moment in time, enjoy making art. And as a child, I, I used to draw, but I had no schooling in, in, in arts. But I needed healing, and I came across the Community Arts Project. Beginning of 78, I joined them. And at the age of 41, I got my first art lessons which transformed my life. It was the start of my healing. I'm influenced by what I see around me. I am both political, but I'm also a social being because I'm not a one-dimensional person. So if you look at my artwork, you will see with very different facets of my expression, both political, social. I love drawing. So you will look at my work, you will see the high level lots of drawings. But I also love collaging. Doing abstract artwork. And we eventually combine the abstract with the figurative. And this is what I do. Because working abstractly can also be very liberating. There was almost this demand from comrades that there is no time for dreams. You must just make political art. I love to do my own thing in my own way. And when I want to make a political statement, I do. But when I want to paint a flower, I will do that too. Nobody dictates to me what I should do and when I should do it. If you do a figurative piece of artwork, most people will be able to understand what you are saying. When you are working abstractly, it is another dimension of your personality that comes to the fore. And unless you understand the language of art, you will not be able to determine what that person is saying. What draws me to my subject matter, it's my daily experiences. What I see around me, what I read about. These are all the things that, uh, even my dreams, are a facet of what I do. The late Dumisani Mabasu, that he would walk in the street and he would find an old shoe or something lying on the road and he would collect it. And he's going to make art with that. And this is where I learned to work with art material. As I said, as a child, eight, nine, ten years of age, I had no schooling, uh, no uh, art schooling. I had no mentors, no role models. But there was this urge to want to draw. I wanted to learn everything about art. I even took up drama. I started writing. I did everything that I could changing the world that we live in. That is what I am about. It brings me joy. The greatest joy that I can ever think of is by making art.